From the library's homepage, scroll down to Noodle Tools. If this is the first time you're using Noodle Tools, click here and then register. I recommend using your MEID for your personal ID and your My Maricopa password for the password. I already have an account, so I'm going to go back and sign in. I've used this account before, which is why you see a list of my projects. But if it's the first time that you've logged on, you won't see any project titles here. To begin, click on New Project. Name the project, such as your last name, Working Bibliography. For English classes, be sure to select MLA and the Advanced. Next, click on Sources. If you want, you can add your research question here. To begin creating your bibliography or works cited page, click on New Source. You're first being asked where you found the information. Did you get it from a PC library database or from the free web? Or is it something that you have in your hands, like a book? I'm going to show you a database example, since many of our resources are from databases. The next question is, what is it? What is the format of the information? Is it an online journal article, a newspaper article, or an ebook? I'm going to pick journal, since college students frequently cite scholarly journal articles. Now you're presented with the correct form to complete. Most of our databases include a citation, and you can copy and paste the citation into Noodle Tools. You might even notice that some of our databases have the option to export the citation into Noodle Tools. Beware! You must double check that the citation is correct. Usually there's something that just isn't quite right with the citation. Because of this, I prefer to fill out the form. So I'm going to switch back to the form. Notice when I click on the field, I get a little I with instructions. Pay attention to these eyes, they are very helpful. The instructions for name of database explain that you should include the specific database, not the name of the company like EBSCO or Gale. I found the article I'm citing in Academic Search Premier. When I click on the URL field, I again get that little I with instructions. The ninth edition of the MLA handbook recommends that you include a URL, but you should always check with your instructor. When typing the URL, be sure to omit the HTTP or HTTPS. Again, I'm looking at the instructions, which explains to always provide the DOI when available. The DOI is a unique alphanumeric string that helps to provide a persistent link to a source. You'll often find the DOI in the library database. If I had a DOI, I would use that instead of the URL, but I don't. Be sure to read the instructions with each field. I learned that I won't need to use most recent date of access because my article has a publication date. Then continue putting in the rest of the information about the article. I have a second author, so I'm going to click on Add Contributor. As I type in the article title, a yellow warning box appears with a suggestion that I should capitalize the first letter of the word diversity. And now I'm just going to put in the rest of my citation. Be sure to save your citation. And now my citation is in perfect MLA format with the correct punctuation and italics. To add another source, you would just click New Source. The Analysis button keeps track of the different types of sources that you're using. You can see the amount of print sources you're using compared to digital, the types of sources, how current your sources are. Typically, you'll have many different types of sources. At the beginning of research, you're always just collecting sources that you may or may not use. Fortunately, you can always delete sources that you don't use. And the delete button is located on the right-hand side.
This next step is very important. When you're ready to submit your citations, be sure to use the Export Print button. If you select Print Export to Word, this opens your list of sources in Word with the correct page heading, Works Cited, all your citations in alphabetical order, and properly indented. If this is just a working bibliography, you can actually change the heading to reflect that.